Hey everybody, it's Amy from Yo So Boho, and this is my very first shop with me thrifting video. So everybody knows we're not thrifting these days. Um, this was recorded February 20th this year. Um, I didn't feel like the recordings went well because it was my you know real first time with a camera in hand trying to record and shop, and it was. It was difficult so please excuse all of the roughness of this video but I thought it might be fun to compile some of my very first footage and share with you while I'm shopping so as you'll see here one of the first things I picked up was this fire king milk glass um, plate with a wheat theme on it I wanted to show you here how I go about looking up things Sometimes in the store, sometimes when I get home. Um, I type them straight into eBay. I also use WorthPoint. But you'll see, these are the value, these are what people are trying to sell them for right here. This is the, um, you know, the ask. If you go into eBay and you hit filter on the left, you can actually bring up down towards the bottom. Um, you can click on sold items. And if you click done, you'll see these are what they actually sell for. So the first there are um, some saucers, some lot saucers. And then there were four plates that sold for $30, um, four that sold for $12. And then at the bottom there, you can see sold January 31st, 2020 for $5. So for $1, <clears throat> you think for $1 sell for $5, that would be okay, but... It's just really not worth the headache of, you know, shipping and listing and all that for that kind of money. So, <clears throat> this was cute. Had a little rust on it. Um, I just kind of liked it that it was old. This I like too. This was made in Mexico. I Looking back, it's funny. I think there was some damage on it. Um, but had I to do it over, I would have picked that up. <clears throat> and this pot I did pick up. This was a nicely done, um, you know, hand hand spun pot, signed, and it was marked four dollars. So <clears throat> I have this one at the new shop actually. Here was some seasonal stuff. There's an area in my Goodwill that has all seasonal stuff in it. These Santa Claus I also picked up. I believe there was six of them, five or six of them, five, in, uh, in a bag. They're all these, these detailed resin, um, tall, skinny Santas. And I posted them and a friend of mine said, oh my gosh, I have a small collection of skinny Santas. Um, so I ended up selling them to her, I think, We'll see here in a moment, but I think I paid five dollars for them, and I think with shipping, which the shipping was probably close to eight, ten dollars, um, I charged her twenty-three total. So they were nice. I I kind of look at those and say, what would I charge each, and then you know include the shipping. Just some other random shelves back around the Christmas stuff. These I picked up. You can see there it was three dollars. Pimpernel. Obviously not easy to get into. So these are like famous golf clubs and they're all British golf clubs and I think they're placemats but they you know they're corked they've never been used they were new in the box these I also have over at the shop right now but I want to say there was a stack of six of these really nice somebody could potentially frame them or use them in some 
neat way. This was cool. <clears throat> so this I actually picked up initially. It did have some damage on it. They wanted $5 for it. But it was super cute vintage kids lamp. I loved how it had that little bulb in the bottom too. So the bottom part lit up. I'll share here what I found on eBay for this. Um, things have changed. When I looked at this and the next one, you'll see I found two lamps that were kind of the same age with the little wooden assembled pieces, wooden plastic kind of assembled pieces. Um, this one was really cool because they rocked back and forth to music. So it's a little wind up music box. And they wanted seven for this one. So at the time when I looked these up, I don't remember what they were, but they went back on the shelf after I thought about what it was going to cost to ship them. Um, and just the, the value wasn't there. I wasn't finding that they were um, listed very high on eBay. So I only have a small furniture area in my Goodwill. I have found some nice things there. I bought a plant stand last year that I think I paid 13 or 12 for and it retails for 250. It was nice. These were nice too, but they were really rickety, very not well made. Um, they weren't extremely old. They were more reproductions. One of my favorite parts of the store is the art area. I have bought quite a few pieces of art. Um, I look for paintings that are, you know, actual paintings, oil paintings, acrylics. This was, this was done by hand, I believe. That was all stitched, but I just didn't like the theme of it. That's just a print, maybe an older print, but Nothing too special. I always find nice things here. This is the store that I always talk about. I, I call my honey hole because I've been all over the place and for some reason this, this is the place that I have been able to find the most valuable things. So on this day, lots of prints, photographs. Um, I don't think there was any originals. Oh, there's something really weird coming up that was <laughs> obviously an original, but just not my taste. Those photos were pretty cool. I thought 15 was a stretch for that, but so this is the piece I was talking about that's original. Kind of weird, three-dimensional, multimedia piece. Um, definitely looked like it was 80s. They have this little island right here where they they usually put things that I guess they feel are more appealing to the to the men because <laughs> it usually has kind of manly things on it. This guy you saw I was tapping on it. I didn't know if it was ceramic or what it was, but he had some chips on him, and I didn't like that. And these are some big heavy resin lighthouses that I also didn't like. <laughs> too heavy, too modern. Ooh, wobbly camera. These I loved. So these are Wedgwood pieces. Um, Wedgwood is real common for the blue and white. I'll show you a picture here. But these were this Windermere um, pattern. And if you see these with the two handles on a bowl like this, it's called a cream soup bowl. Those were pretty, but I left them. And this guy, this is a gravy boat. Um, I looked him up, and that number that 
AK-7-8, whatever it was. Kind of rare, but so much damage on this one. You can see it was discolored and pitted and yeah. These are cool little individual ashtrays, also in the same pattern. I didn't look those up. Um, modern. I can tell you about Carnival Wear at some point. Um, there's some valuable stuff out there that has that glowy kind of look. These are really pretty. Very modern, though. And I think there was only a couple of those. Those were also nice, some Christmas dishes, just not my taste. I really have to love, and um, these were, I love these actually. These are Franciscan, um, there's actually another uh, Franciscan earthenware pattern that is more, I usually see more of, but man, I liked the color on these. They looked kind of 60-ish. By the way, those Wedgwood pieces are 40s, from the 1940s. These, I would say, are 60s. They had some damage, and there just wasn't enough to put together, you know, a nice little set. Sometimes if you can put, you know, a two or a four set together, great. Other times, I'll look for, like these, I'll look for the platters. Um, this was kind of nice. I think it also had damage on it. I don't think I picked up any platters that day. But platters and like the stranger pieces like the gravy boats, those are easier to sell individually. This I did pick up. This is an Apple Lane Studio piece. Perfect condition, no issues with cracking or chips. I just love the glaze and the treatment on this. Beautiful find. Very happy about that. I always try and look at the shelves a few times. I'm telling you, super hard. You can see <laughs> my camera's focused on nothing for a lot of the time because I really depend on my eyes and to look through the camera for things, just impossible. My um, store has a lot of glass, a lot of clear glass. These are kind of cool. Um, I thought that was a little pricey, but if that's a gold overlay, um, that price might be justified. However, you can see from there, there's a lot of little chips around the edges, so probably not worth it. That was an interesting little piece. Um, but I don't pick up everything just because it's interesting. I always look at the mugs. GG. <laughs> it's kind of a cool handmade one. Lots of mugs. Every once in a while I find something cool. These I loved. These are vintage. I just like that paisley and the colors are great. Um, I did end up picking these up and I didn't notice that there was some condition issues, at least on one of them. But I thought the pair were just so cute. Little kind of soup mugs. You can even see in the video there that the top one had a little chip in it. I should have seen that. Sometimes you just get caught up in how cute something is and you don't... Yep, chip, chip right there. I missed it. For a dollar a piece, sometimes you just don't, you know, see it. I do see a couple of pieces in there that I might have gone back and looked at. If I was the me now that is looking for that older glass. That piece right there is pretty. That was really heavy, I remember. Probably crystal. Yeah, it's interesting going back and looking over these, you know, 
months later. Just even, you know, how much I've learned since then and what I might pick up now. Brown drip! <laughs> so those are not haul. I only buy haul. Those, I'm not sure what they are. <laughs> she was resin. I think I ended up looking her up just because it was from a studio. Um, but I didn't end up getting her. Eight dollars for this. This was a little ridiculous. If you notice right there on the right bottom side, it's missing a foot. But yeah, eight dollars for that. Probably because they saw Hummel. That piece was really cool. That looked like a studio piece. I wonder why I didn't, oh, probably because it's so huge. I saw something on the back of it that <laughs> made me flip it over quickly, so. I just don't remember what it was that kept me from buying that. This boutique is kind of cool. They have end caps that they do all in the same colors. Um, here, they kind of split things up by color. And then this area, they also tend to do all the holiday stuff. So right before um, Christmas, it was all Christmas stuff. More clear glass. I've found quite a bit of uranium glass at this place, too. This was kind of cool. Like, it was blown into this wired piece. kind of artsy. I thought four was a little much for it. The quality wasn't exactly what I would uh, expect or what I would sell, resell. So it stayed. I put it back. In this area right here always has a lot of just miscellaneous stuff. This guy was cute. I don't know why I left him, but I think I left him. He was just a little resin piece. Oh, well, maybe he went in the cart. <laughs> maybe he's here somewhere. This was cute. I think that's probably just a made in China piece. Lots of bells, always lots of bells. I actually bought quite a few bells. Somebody at one point gave up an entire collection. So anything that was bohemian or blown glass, you know, special bells, I, I did pick up from that collection. Those are probably left over from, from back then. These were also neat. They had a little bit of age. They're, you know, from China. I thought this was adorable from a distance, too. I think we'll go back to look at that. Oh, yeah, I liked her. She was, she had a weird hole. I think she was made in China. Oh, I guess we're not going to see it. There was an elephant candle holder that was resin and kind of cool. And then this guy, he's a wine holder. Bottle of wine sits in his mouth, and I have seen these, um, in the past, I knew what they were worth, uh, at least 20 bucks. So for $3, and I have two besties that love unicorns, and I knew they'd fight for him. So he was just going to be a gift anyway. I'm always drawn to the older religious pieces. Um, he was just kind of strange with that cape. I also like this piece. Although it was a newer, for $3, I left it for somebody else, but I'm sure it's being treasured somewhere. So that actually concludes my thrifting trip, and I want to say thank you for watching. I hope that this was somewhat entertaining, and I hope that maybe in a few weeks I get the chance to be out with a camera again. Although, 
now we'll be talking through a mask and working the camera with um, some gloves on. So um, <laughs> the challenges will be stacked, but maybe we'll see. Stay safe. Stay healthy, everybody. Lots of love to you. See you next time.